Baylor has two players named the second team All-American team, Siaka Ika and also Connor Galvin. Not a surprise. Both are really, really good, and they are named second team All-Americans uh, for the Associated Press. Connor Galvin uh, really came back with a chip on his shoulder after, you know, last year, you know, was first team All-Big 12 and uh, didn't really get when he you know, asked for his what his draft profile was going to be, didn't like the answer he heard, and wanted to come back and prove some things. So it'll be interesting there. And Siaki Ika is a guy who could wind up pretty high in the draft if his if his ceiling continues to uh, elevate because they don't they don't build guys like that all that often. You know, and you saw um, you know how quickly Jordan Davis shot up the charts once the light came on for him at Georgia, and and you know he's got that kind of you know huge dude who's also really athletic and quick and super strong and disruptive uh i i would not be surprised to see him climbing up the people noticing him all over the country this year yeah i mean those are the two most obvious guys uh, that if you were to you know play the guessing game of who's going to be a preseason all-american i mean those would be your your top two and i don't even know if they've really got a third candidate uh, outside of maybe a dylan doyle um i think a lot of their other guys are probably just not that well known at this point uh or haven't proven it just yet to that level but uh, those two certainly have and i throw you know doyle in that mix like i said as well but yeah um there's high expectations i mean Ika, in theory, this isn't his last year, but very well likely would be if he has a supremely good year because there will be some NFL attention on a guy who is as big and strong as he is and who plays a position where there's just not a lot of uh, bodies, typically. I mean, the fact that Baylor's got two, three guys uh, at the nose tackle spot when some in the country can't even find a single you know, regular nose tackle is – just uh, you know, a testament to their recruiting and kind of the way they built this thing up. And of course, it's not always going to be that way, but right now it is, and and that's part of the reason why there's a feeling that this season could be special. And you know, same thing with Galvin and the offensive line; they're rolling at least too deep at pretty much every position, and he's the anchor of it at left tackle. So yeah, I mean, your left tackle and your nose are going to be, you know, the two, uh, I guess, biggest stars of the two biggest, you know, most uh, deep. Uh, positions on your roster so uh, those guys are certainly expected to be standouts Sonny Dykes saying that he could or th 